welcome uh, welcome once again uh, we will continue in the English part uh, of uh, of the program and uh, we will start uh, with uh, uh, I hope a very uh, interesting presentation uh, which uh, uh, I am very happy that uh, we managed uh, to bring uh, we brought it and uh, she will show you the projects uh, of outdoor lighting, urban lighting, architecture lighting where she was personally involved uh, because uh, she's an uh, architect and uh, she is uh, basically uh, going to show you for what for the illumination in the city uh, can uh, can be used uh, that uh, it's more than only showing the building the beauty of the building but uh, that uh, it can really uh, be used for creating identity of the, of the city the interesting part uh, comes uh, uh, then and i'm really interested uh, how you will like it because uh, it's obvious that perception uh, of uh, lighting uh, is uh, really different uh, from sweden to czech republic or spain or or serbia so i saw some of these projects and uh, they are very different from those uh, we know from the Czech Republic. So I think uh, the, the lecture will be also interesting uh, in comparing what we are used to in Czech Republic and uh, what is already realized uh, in region of Balkan. So I would like to uh, welcome Ms. Jovana Cvetkovic for the lecture. Uh, she has fun club with her, so. Okay, thank you, Hinek. Uh, well, uh, uh, thank you for this nice uh, introduction. Uh, I work for Philips for almost five years, and I did a lot of projects, uh, light design projects uh, I had opportunity to work on. Uh, this is, these are some of them. Um, I took projects which I thought it will be interesting for you to show you. Because, like Hinek said, it's not only about the light design itself, it's about meaning of that light design and why we did it in the way we, we do. So, um, I hope uh, you will like it and after a presentation you will have a time, if you have a time, I, I will be glad to speak more about it uh, with any of, of you. So, here we are in Prague. And uh, we all know that the uh, Czech Republic is very attractive touristic destination. And uh, Prague itself is a very famous city all around the world. So I investigated a little bit and I saw that uh, every year in Prague we have 8% more tourists uh, than previous year. So uh, you have more and more tourists every year. But uh, that's not only uh, in Prague. That's all in Belgrade also. That's also in the Balkan. So there, I, I can see that there is some competition between the cities uh, who, who will attract more people, who will have more tourists. Why? Because the tourists bring you, in the end, money. So uh, city want to have more tourists, and city want to invest that they can get uh, more tourists uh, in, uh, inside of the city. Uh, but uh, what is the link between uh, tourist uh, tourism? What is the link between city and the lighting? I will try to explain you in this in this presentation. As you all know, we are living in the very, very uh, have to say, fast time. We 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 are living fast. Uh, we are working hard. We uh, we are living in the city, which are every day bigger and bigger. But uh, that that's not really human size of the city. We have bigger cities, and the the people are stay, staying the same. So so we really need to rehumanizing our cities. So architecture generally and urban planners wants to to do that in the future. Uh, uh, but uh, how we can really use lighting to do that? Uh, for example, you, you don't need any more just to have functional lighting, just to have good enough uh, looks uh, on the surface. That's not uh, good enough anymore because all city has it. So you have to be different. You have to, be, you have to provide people something uh, why they will come back again into Prague, why they will in or other city, the, why they will uh, talk about this city and uh, to tell them friends to come again. Uh, so that's why I think that lighting can give you a very uh, good solution to provide this uh, tourist uh, very attractive and something uh, attra attractive environment, uh, environment which makes them to feel creative in that space. And uh, 
lighting can give you a really instant solution for that because you can install it and turn on. Uh, and uh, it's not, uh, how to say it, a long period. Uh, you don't need a lot of time to do it. It's uh, just something that you can use uh, over the squares that you have, but lighting in a way that people really attract it. But uh, how actually light and the city correspond uh, one to each other? Uh, we can, uh, first of all, we want to have security, of course. Uh, lighting uh, can co uh, must contribute uh, to feeling of safety in the public spaces. That is something that for sure we must have. But uh, that's not enough, like I said before. Uh, we need to, to give the people something why they will feel really enthusiastic uh, to, to see that lighting. For example, we can use lighting like orientation. We can uh, use marker lighting to, to, to have some directions, to, to emphasize some directions or some lines, or to, to really uh, give the people directions where to go, what to see in the city, or something like that. Uh, also, light can be used like a promotion. Uh, you, you all around the world you can see some nice buildings for example this bridge uh, it's like uh, in the in the actually you can give a message you you give the people message with lighting uh, you want you want to have a waves you want to see that this bridge is going on uh, to the, some important place so you want to emphasize it of course, every city has his landmarks. Uh, so we want to emphasize that landmarks so that uh, your city has a uh, really uh, the identity which is uh, just for that city. So you want to emphasize that something which is very specific in that town. Uh, of course, uh, the most important is that you with light create atmosphere. You can provoke people emotions and you can do it with the light. You can do it, we can, you can play with the color of light. You can play with the angles of light. And you can really provide people uh, feelings that they are in the places which are uh, really suitable for them. And in the end, uh, lighting can be entertainment. And, and entertainment, sorry. Um, today and these days in the Prague, we can see the lighting festival. So that is one of the part of how the lighting really can uh, provoke people to come in the city, to be there more and more, and to to generally uh, to to live, uh, to spend their money, and to have to say it to, to uh, restaurants will go will working longer, shops will working longer. So government, if they really want to invest in lighting, uh, that invest in investment can really pay off to them very quickly. Well, that is something generally. Uh, all these uh, strategies actually we used when we talk about, uh, when we do projects in uh, our region. Uh, this is uh, some projects I, I wanted to show you from Serbia uh, and from Macedonia. Um, so, uh, first one is the Gardosh Tower. So this is the view you can see when you are uh, on the top of this tower. You can see that this uh, uh, this uh, field it's really flat, and here is the Danube River. So it's like a really good view from from this tower. Uh, in the uh, years before, uh, this this tower is. Uh, dating from 16th century, and the fortress around it, uh, it's uh, from uh, 14th century, so very old part of the city. Uh, and you can see it from the river, you can see it from the close sides, of course. And uh, here you, see, you can see the atrium, which uh, uh, where in the summer we have summer stage for, uh, for I don't know, for some uh, concerts or something like that. So really, we use this uh, place, but uh, somehow, it was not lighted at all. So last year, we did a project. Uh, we uh, we talked with the governments, people, and uh, we we told them we have uh, more and more tourists in the city. Everybody wants to see the Gardos Tower because it's very important for the city of Belgrade. And when you're walking around, uh, walking in the, sorry. When you're walking uh, on the riverside, uh, on the Danube River, it's really, really nice to go up to the hill and see the tower. But uh, you see here, there is a streets, a lot of uh, very small streets with the small uh, houses because this is heritage protection area. So we cannot build uh, anymore there. So, but the, uh, 
but uh, it's very interesting to walk around these streets. But people sometimes lose uh, here because uh, a lot of streets are uh, blind streets. So you cannot find really, really way path to do to the top of the hill. So we wanted with lighting to provide the people marker uh, which are really guide them to the top of the hill and which will guide them to do to do this uh, tower. So uh, you can see this on this picture. Uh, we put marker lighting on the square, on the on the floor, uh, in the size of the human uh, steps. So that does provide that you walking around, you walking there, and you will go to the to your uh, to the, the top. Also, uh, we uh, pro we propose uh, for uh, urban lighting on the poles, which are all actually like in the mirror. We have marker lighting on the on the floor, and we have the similar luminar which uh, light from inside uh, um, for on the on the top. So. Uh, we provide guidelines to do tower. The first phase of the project is done. They actually accept all the phases of the project. But uh, for now, they have a budget for tower uh, only. And uh, this is the this is the this how it looks like when we put illumination on it. Uh, on the bottom part of the building, we put, uh, cla uh, we put classical luminaires. Uh, and for the top of the building, we put uh, uh, LED uh, luminars because we wanted to, to not uh, to have a big luminars on facade because it's also heritage protection building. So uh, and uh, this is the part where we didn't want to put lighting on because uh, it's um, uh, the place where the people go on and see the view from this building. So we didn't want that any luminar disturb uh, people uh, people to view this. Uh, a fantastic, uh, fantastic view from from the from the from the building. This is how it looks like from the riverside. This is also uh, one a little master plan, I have to say it, uh, like uh, the Gardosh uh, uh, place. Uh, this is a city area, Old Panchovo, uh, which is uh, the city very close to the Belgrade. Uh, and uh, they had an old quarter of the city, which was not, uh, uh, nobody invested in that part of the city for years and uh, they decided to do uh, urban uh, design new urban design of this uh, area so architects uh, was really um, delighted that uh, have a very modern uh, urban urban um, have to say it urban design for this project but they also wanted to have luminaires which are in the same time very modern but uh, in the other way they wanted to have luminaires which are correspond to this old area so that uh, somehow we have mix between modern and uh, old look uh, of the of the luminar so that's why you know, we really had a good cooperation with architects in this uh, in this project uh, we did a model for this uh, project because it's uh, very big for us and it was very important to get it. Um, and we provided them solution with the uh, metronomist uh, Oslo, uh, Philips Luminaire, which have curved poles. Uh, and that's why we wanted to, to have something specific on this area, uh, to give this area really look uh, like uh, no, no other place in this uh, in this city so because this part of the city is very different from the other parts so we wanted to that to be seen also in lighting so that this is the the, the main street uh, for uh, from the park main park in the, in the city we are entering this area and we have a, a double a double curved poles uh, so the 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 highest one is for street lighting and for pedestrians or is the lowest one uh, this is uh, one of the uh, very important uh, objects for us in project generally. This is Palace Albania uh, in Belgrade. Uh, and uh, I can say free freely that this is one of the most important buildings in Belgrade because it's located in the, all, in the heart of the city. It's uh, located in the, in the crossroads of the very important, uh, very important streets in Belgrade. And one of these streets uh, which are going the, in this direction is pedestrian street, the main pedestrian street in Belgrade. So in that street you 
will always, in every day of night uh, time, you will find people, you will find restaurants, uh, clubs, cafes, uh, shoppings, and it's really a live part of the city. So we wanted to give this um, uh, to light, to light this building, uh, also to be li alive, li alive, you know, to do, to give the um, some uh, lighting which is dynamic and which correspond to this uh, area. That's why we decided to put uh, RGB luminaires, which we can program, and we had a very, very serious uh, FARS controller on the building, and uh, we also did commissioning and um, all all details of the planning uh, of uh, the of the scenarios and everything so we provided the city a general scenario where they have a white color of light and we provide them um, a lot of different uh, uh, holiday center scenarios for example for city day of the city or something similar but i have uh, pictures um, this is, for example, how it looked like uh, when it's uh, days of Belgrade. Uh, in that time in Belgrade, we have a really uh, specific, uh, I don't know, culture events uh, or something like uh, musical, uh, musical around the city, concerts and something like that. So, so the, we wanted to, to give the people a message, to send a message that something going on in the city, that something which is different going on. But also this uh, object was very uh, good for media panel in the city because you can be seen it can be seen from very long distance so we put uh, uh, we put panels uh, uh, of, uh, of um, we put panels with uh, strings lead strings and we can create uh, symbols on the facade so we inform citizens about uh, events uh, in the city uh, in this way. And this really works because we really cooperate with the government and we provide it, for example, for Valentine's Day or we really uh, support some humanitarian actions uh, in the city. We supported Autism Day. We supported, uh, uh, collect, uh, we collect money for the Japan when it was aircraft uh, a couple of years ago. So uh, in that time, we just wanted to show the people that they can give, uh, uh, the, in the city, it was all around uh, the places when you can give donations. So we actually wanted to, to support that uh, even too. Uh, this was uh, taken, this picture is a couple days ago because uh, it's a uh, month of uh, breast uh, cancer awareness and uh, we also participate in this uh, event so uh, in this uh, way we can uh, I want to tell you that uh, uh, lighting you can really use like uh, like communication lighting it's not just a uh, uh, nice building or something some colors on the on the facade it's it's communication with the people with the citizens this is a uh, uh, Skopje uh, 2014. This is a, for us, very important project which is going on right now. Um, because uh, in Skopje, it was an aircraft uh, uh, 1960s, something like that. And they destroyed uh, all governmental building uh, surroundings. So they didn't have a main government building uh, for years. And they uh, got uh, the... The, the they found the uh, have to say the money for the uh, making the 20 new objects uh, and um, they found money to, for 20 new objects and over 40 monuments uh, they plan to build in the in the city uh, we are uh, in the projects for almost 20 of the of the of the of these uh, buildings and uh, we already realized some of them because uh, they have plans to, in the end of uh, 2014 to have everything finished so uh, the first phase it's done uh, and uh, we can say that uh, it's uh, everything Philips so it's uh, we are very happy because of that uh, first uh, First uh, part is the, in the really old part of the city, where is the main square, and this is the the old part of the city, a new part of the city, and it's connected with the bridges. So uh, the the first object is the Museum of Macedonian Struggle, uh, the second Constitutional Court, uh, the third uh, Agency of Electronic Communication, uh, 
Public Prosecutor Building and Finance Police uh, and Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So th this is the all, this is every uh, all these buildings are are in one uh, river side of uh, Vardar. So it's very close to each other, and I must say we we did it all. So. Um, this is how it looks like when when you st standing on the main square and looking at this uh, on these objects. I will go through uh, each of them. Uh, this is a museum of Macedonia struggle. Inside, uh, they show uh, how the, the, their history was turbulent and how they actually wanted to 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 have that lighting also on facade. So we have really a lot of contrast on the facade uh, to, to actually to give like a, uh, the same concept which you will find inside of the building. So uh, also um, one of the requests of the investor, it was that they can uh, really have, a, because they, they want to build this object and uh, uh, increase awareness of their nationality. So they wanted to have uh, uh, colors of their national flag. All on all, to have possibility to project it in objects. So we put uh, somewhere on these objects, we put uh, RGB luminaires that we can really create uh, feeling, uh, we create uh, like uh, something like a flag of Macedonian flag. Here it was possible to do it on the dome. So we so we did. They use this uh, this uh, lighting, holiday lighting, when they have uh, very important holidays in their country. In the rest of the time, uh, the color of light is white. Uh, this is the constitutional court. Uh, this is one of the biggest uh, projects uh, we did. Like you see, uh, these are pre preliminary pictures. It's not finished yet because this is the. Build, uh, they build all around still, so it's not uh, very, how to say it, maybe it's not mo the most beautiful picture that we can show you, but uh, it's uh, now what, what we, can, we can do. Um, so this is like uh, pictures of the, of, the, of the objects, and uh, we emphasize actually the main uh, architectural, uh, architectural um, parts. This is from the back side, how it looks like. Uh, public prosecutor building and finance police. Uh, this is uh, the ter uh, tree of building which you can see from this uh, on this picture. But uh, the one I want to show you is uh, this one. Uh, we also uh, did uh, uh, lighting design not only for the facade. We did it uh, for indoor lighting, and this uh, not only for this object for all of five of them I show you. But this one is the first object in uh, Macedonia which are used the LED lighting inside. Uh, all 100% lighting which are installed inside is LED lighting. So this is the first object in Macedonia uh, which uh, did it, and it, it's with Philips. Uh, this is Ministry or for gain affairs. Uh, so this is the last one of this uh, on this row of the, the building. Uh, and um, we also did the the, 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 the same concept like uh, in the in the previous objects. Um, like I told you, the investor want from us that we have possibility to change the colors. So we have it, and uh, they put it uh, when they will have uh, their own uh, holidays. So you can see they are also preparing to have a lighting festival in the Skopje when they finish uh, this project. So uh, that's why I think that this lighting, they re can really use it in the end. Uh, this is one of the monuments we also uh, illuminate. Uh, one, of, uh, one of the biggest of monument they made. Uh, uh, so I will show you just this one. Um, this concept was for this object uh, monument is for fallen heroes uh, for the wars they have uh, in history. So uh, we have uh, the main concept was to illuminate rotonda with uh, uh, with the central pillar and statue which is uh, on the center, and uh, to illuminate fontaine 
And also, you can see here on this picture, it's a flame which is burning all, all the time for the people who died for their country. So uh, we put uh, uh, blue lighting uh, in the fountain and marker lighting which guides you to the, to the flame. Uh, and uh, the rest of the lighting is uh, done with a warm white uh, color flight which correspond to this material and, uh, of, the, of, the, of the monument. Uh, this is uh, one of the projects in Belgrade. Uh, it's a very famous library in Belgrade. It's, uh, and it's, it's located in the very center of the city, uh, in the pedestrian street, and uh, it's on the beginning of Kalemegdrum Fortress. Um, and we did light design. Uh, we illuminate the uh, uh, exterior for, with the... Uh, with, uh, uh, button, uh, uh, we button the bottom part of the object, ground floor we illuminate from inside and the first uh, floor we illuminate from outside. Also everything is light lighting so we had the dimmers and we can fix really and adjust uh, uh, lighting to correspond to, to the uh, environment on the streets. Uh, this is the building, uh, also in Belgrade, uh, the foundation of uh, Kolarec. Uh, this is a cultural, cultural, cultural institution, uh, and where we have uh, the most, uh, um, the most um, acoustic uh, concert uh, hall uh, in the Belgrade. So it's very famous, uh, and uh, people uh, coming when when famous. Uh, um, players coming to Belgrade, they, they usually come here. So uh, we wanted to illuminate this building. Uh, we illuminated it uh, uh, like uh, uh, we illuminated it like that. That it's shown like a light is going from within. So we we wanted to say that this is cultural institution. So we have a knowledge who is going from within to outside. So this was like a concept uh, of uh, lighting. And uh, the, for us, it was very, uh, very, very, we were very happy to find out that uh, they really increased the number of uh, people who are coming to visit this concert hall uh, when we did, uh, when we finished lighting. So that, that the people from the, from the foundation told us. Uh, this is all the cathedral in, um, in Vršac, uh, that is a city near the Belgrade, also in Vojvodina. It's the biggest uh, cathedral in Vojvodina. And we did a light design uh, for this uh, church. Uh, the concept was that uh, in the bottom part of the building, we have a warm uh, white light, because we want to, to have the impression that, uh, that, uh, uh, that people who are entering in the building are on the, on the ground. So it should be warm and inviting environment. But the 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 um, uh, but the other part the the the, the upper parts of the building uh, are illuminated with cool white warm cool uh, white uh, light so that uh, in that impression that uh, its uh, towers are going to to the sky and they are close to god so it's go it should have different color and should be more cool i constructed a lot of hotels one of them is the uh, main hotel in kragujevac hotel kragujevac and we did lighting for the facade uh, and uh, also for interior lighting, we uh, illuminate up a uh, restaurant with color changing lighting and the elevator so they fit together and uh, controlling together and the rest of the, of the building we illuminate it with warm white light. So actually that was the, the projects I wanted to show you and um, of course if there is any questions I'm here for you. If not, maybe later. <laughs>